All right, I thought uh, I thought it was a good work day today. You know, I was uh, third down, third down day. You know, introduction to some red zone situations. Uh, you know, each each game week, there's uh, you know specific you know things that you're going to see that you got to prepare for. Um, you know, ultimately, this is it's a. Uh, uh, an important day that we stay stay focused on what we do well, and then also making sure that we can adapt and adjust to the different uh, uh, you know situations that could show up uh, you know with with it, within regards to our opponent. But uh, you know this this team presents a lot of different challenges with a variety of different looks. Um, you know some things we were clean on today, some things we got to continue to clean up. Uh, you know just on our overall execution. But um, you know I thought I thought our guys uh, did a good job with their approach. It's I mean, he's, he's working through the process. I mean, he's going through his uh, rehabilitation. You know, he's getting more and more on the field to get him into some routes, get him into return game. Um, you know, this is it's going to be a, a process. Just as as he as he goes, there's going to be really good days, and there's going to be some days that we got to we got to modify and, and adjust. And uh, you know, I just I just love love the young man's you know spirit and the and the work that he's putting in in it. Yeah, I thought I thought the you know early the first the first period, um, you know. Wouldn't say it was lacking, but you know, I wanted wanted more. And then I thought the guys responded well. I thought they, you know, they made the choice in the middle parts of practice to push. I think we're getting good speed on speed work, uh, um, you know, in some of our crossover periods, which which I, you know, that, that's good to see because it still comes down to fundamentals and and the things that we're asking our guys to do. So, um, but I thought I thought all in all it was a good work day. I think our, our look squad um, is doing a nice doing a nice job for us, and uh, you know, I thought that was it was quality work. Yeah, you know, I mean, one of the things, you know, Travis Jay has really been helping us some, uh, you know, in that, um, you know, his former quarterback and, um, you know, that, it's been a, a good good way to be able to replicate it. You know, obviously, you know, our other quarterbacks are still, you know, Gino's doing a really nice job, but, you know, there's some, there's some uh, special talents that that, uh, that Malik has that it's hard to uh, it's hard to simulate. So, uh, you know, Travis done, has done a good job jumping over there and being able to, to help us with some of that. No, absolutely. I mean, you, when you have like you look at our defensive front on our on our scouts. I mean, it's it's an impressive defensive front. Those, those guys are are doing a good job. Guys can be really good players here in the future. Um, you know, I like I like that we're having the uh, availability to be able to do that. Um, you know, really all all positions. Uh, you know, it's helped us, but we have a lot of guys are also playing, and so uh, you know, helping out in special teams and and different things. So. Um, you know, I, I think we're getting good competitive work even when we're in our scouts. But uh, you know, part of the reason we also do some of that crossover work. Jordan's talked about how gaining confidence this offseason is really big for him. This season, just what did you try to do to kind of instill that confidence? Well, I mean, just got to be consistent. You got to be consistent as coaches. You got to be consistent as players. Um, you know, it's still, like I've said you know, a lot, that I mean, it comes down to his work, the work that he's put in. Um, you know, it. Reps don't necessarily build confidence. It's it's when you're able to to learn the lesson, work to improve, and then apply the lessons. That's what gives you confidence in what you're doing. And uh, I think Jordan is a great example of that. You know, he's played really well the first two weeks. Um, he's played. You know, he's coming out every day in practice. And I, I love how even even in times where maybe it's not the right decision or maybe it's something he can clean up. Like he, he he's starting to know it before I I have to tell him. And that's that's a really good thing and uh, you know it just it shows that his understanding but also his uh, his desire to be the best that he can be and so you know it and it builds off both I mean it, you know he's I think he's very confident in what, what I'm going to ask him to do what coach Tokar is going to ask him to do um, and we're very confident in the way that he's going to show up but we all got to continue to push Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really glad that he's a part of the team, and uh, you know, he was able, he was looking for an opportunity, and um, you know, I think he he brings a, a another talented guy to the backfield, but uh, you know, this year obviously he's not not going to be eligible, but you know, he's he's one of those guys that's over there helping give a great look, uh, you know, in, in in that simulation, he's a guy that has college experience, but uh, um, you know, he's you know, I, I appreciate the the investment he's willing to make to you know bet on himself and go you know, be a part of this and and uh, to be a part of what we're what we're doing here and uh, you know I really enjoyed having him and just uh, you know, a great young man I think he really fits our program and uh, you know, even you know coming in just hitting the ground running and um, you know definitely excited about watching him and as, as we get into spring ball and it continue to see him develop throughout this uh, this fall camp but uh, or, the, or this fall fall season and uh, you know but uh, but excited for what he, he's going to be able to provide and, and the opportunities in front of him.